tough times hit everybody. You're, you know, you're not special because of what hits you. This is something we see every day in people. They, they're sometimes people's value of their life is based on what uh, troubles have hit them. Some people say, well, you know, I'm a, I, 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 I'm a paraplegic, I'm, I've got diabetes, I've got cancer, I've got this, I've got this disorder or whatever else, I've got uh, OCD, I've got ADHD, I, got, I mean, we've got all these acronyms. And sometimes people find that their significance is based on what they have been hit with. And that's a dangerous thing to have your identification swallowed up by what you've been hit with. I'm a single parent. I'm, a, uh, I'm an orphan. Uh, you know, I, I've, whatever. What, don't get your identification by what hits you. Get your identification by who made you and who created you and what you're going to be for the rest of your, your eternal existence. I'm alive and it's a gift from God and things have hit me. But that does not make me special. What makes me special is how I go through whatever, God, whatever comes my way. And this is where you, you get to be victorious and this is where you get to build character no matter what hits you. You get to go through it. And through that you can... You can glorify God and you can experience the greatest things in life. When you start getting this kind of a perception, all of a sudden you stop ducking all the time, wondering what's going to hit you next. You put your head up in this, you know, and you look straight ahead and you said, bring it on, I'm coming through. And there's no way I can fail. There's no way I can fail because my father said that he will take care of me. He will hold me. He will... He will never forsake me, and he will always take me into victory after victory after victory. Hallelujah. Think about what that does in your overall picture of your life, of all the things that hit you to, to get to the end of your days and have all kinds of stories, but also think about what it means for you to face it tomorrow and face everything you've got to face tomorrow or today and just say, I'm going to lift my head up. I'm going to know who I am. I am a child of God. I'm, I'm created in his image. I'm incredibly amazing. I've been given this amazing gift, which is just beyond imagination, and it is. It's beyond anything we can ever think or grasp, and it is. And it's called life, and I've been able to, uh, God has given me this gift. And I'm going to value it. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to respect it, but I'm also going to live it, as Jody said, with passion. And I, I'm going to exploit everything I can as I go through. Because I will never die. My body will die. My body's dying now. But I will never die. You will never die. But ask yourself every once in a while, how's my forever stacking up? A lot of times we look at our bank account. A lot of times we look at our, our toys. And, uh, you know, I just see somebody parked an awful nice boat on our property. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, if it stays there, praise God. <clears throat> if it's there long enough, I'll hook up a trailer to it. Or hook my pickup up to it. We can look at our life, how it's stacking up in the natural, but we we'll also every once in a while just take a deep breath, get alone, lift your head up and say, God, how's my forever stacking up? How is my reward forever stacking up? How many cool glasses of water have I given in the last few weeks? How many compliments have I given? How many prayers have I said? How many, how many things have I done for people? Words of encouragement. How many pats on the back? How many things? How's my forever stacking up? You've given me this life, and, I, and one of the abundance of this life is that we can build up reward. We can lay up treasures. We can, we can build up our forever. Hallelujah. It's good once in a while in the midst of every, every day life, just say, how, Lord, I, can you show me a glimpse of my warehouses in glory? I want to know how my forever is stacking up. And then remind yourself also that nobody has given, uh, nobody has been given the authority of your destiny but you. There's nobody that can take your life. There's nobody that can destroy your life. There's nobody that can... Uh, to take your place. Nobody can come in and take over the command of your ship. It was given to you by God. 
and uh, you can release it. You can actually, you know, it's amazing, but you can, uh, I've shared this before, but uh, it seems like I don't think I'll get in trouble for sharing this one. But, you know, when old Brody came up to me in the park in Spearfish and said, he's crying, I said, why are you crying? He says, because that boy over there says I can't be Batman, that he's Batman. And what he did was he gave the authority of his own life to a little boy that he didn't even know the name of. And uh, you and I can do that in so many ways. But remember this, the authority of your life was never given to your wife, to your husband, to your parents, to your children, to the government, to, the, to ISIS, to anybody else. The authority of your life and the destiny of your course was given to you by God, by the designer, and he will never honor anything else but your life by your choices. And so that's why you never want to feel like a victim. That's why you never want to say, well, you offended me, you hurt me, because you just acknowledge then that you slipped into the identification of being a victim. You are the victor, and nobody takes it away. Hold fast to that. That's not arrogancy. That's not pride. That is just humbly accepting this incredible gift that God has given to you and the authority he gave you to make your own choices and, and set your own forevers. Ask yourself also, you know, what will he be legally able to reward you with? In your forever age. God is not a respecter of persons. At the same, and, and therefore he can't just lavish you. And not lavish everybody else. What he has offered. He has offered to everybody. No matter where they came from. No matter where they are born. No matter what, what he has offered. He has offered to everybody. And the reward that he gives. Will be given equally, fairly and justly. And he is passionately on his judgment seat waiting for you to stack up more inheritance in the life to come. So every once in a while I ask yourself, Lord, what, legal, what are you able to legally reward me with? And help me and teach me how to lay up more treasures in heaven.